Hi everyone and welcome back to Cascapades, a traveller's scratch pad. This is your weekly Sunday vlog, uh, usually on a Sunday, sometimes not, for your weekly vlog about cruising and cruise destinations. This month we've been talking about loyalty programmes, specifically cruise line loyalty programmes, and this week it's time to talk about Celebrity. Celebrity Cruises is a premium cruise line brand based in Miami and is owned by the Royal Caribbean Group. It's been going since 1988 and was originally founded in Greece, which is why their colour scheme is white and blue. The same white and blue as the Greek flag and many of their famous buildings. With a really large fleet, in recent years, Celebrity has launched its Edge class of ships, which has some of the most brilliant innovations, and the newest being the Celebrity Beyond, which launched just a few weeks ago prior to this recording in May of 2022. So let's talk about their loyalty program that they call the Captain's Club. The most interesting thing about the Captain's Club loyalty program compared to some of the others we've covered in previous weeks is that the way you earn points is quite different. You earn points with this line based on the type of cabin you're sailing in, as well as the length of your cruise. Captain's Club points are earned per night based on stateroom category. So if you have an inside cabin or an ocean view cabin, uh, for those of you who don't know what an ocean view cabin, that's a cabin that has a window but not a balcony. You get two club points per night if you stay in one of those sorts of rooms. If you have a veranda stateroom, you get three club points per night. Concierge and aqua class, five. Sky Suites and Aqua Sky Suites, you get eight points per night. Celebrity, Signature, Royal and Sunset Suites, you get 12. Penthouse, Reflection and the Edge Villa class, 18. And the Iconic Suite, 24 club points per night. So obviously you get more points for the higher quality and cost of the room that you're staying in, which kind of makes sense. There's also another way to earn Captain's Club points. In 2020, Celebrity launched a new program called Power Up Points that lets Captain's Club members get bonus points by filling out things like online surveys, participating on social media, interestingly, and also booking specific promotions. So that you can, for example, get points for filling out a survey, as they say, uh, liking and interacting on Twitter or Facebook, and specific promotions that they can book. So there could be a discount deal only available to those people who are in Captain's Club. Taking part in these activities will give you power-up points, which can then be converted into Captain's Club points at a ratio of 10 to 1. So for every 10 power-up points you get, you can convert it into one additional Captain's Club point. And if you want to play along with this scheme, you have to subscribe to Celebrity's email list, and they'll actually notify you by email when there's any new power-up point activities. And you can start this straight away by going to celebrity.com slash power-up. If you're already a Captain's Club member, just click subscribe for emails in, in your account. And if you're not a member, you just need to click and roll now. So let's look at the tiers and what they get you. So the start is preview level. <clears throat> at preview level, this is just zero points. You've never sailed with them before. You're just entering the club. You gain access to the online cruise newsletter and the loyalty desk. Uh, you can also book Captain's Club promotions once you're on board your first cruise. So that's pretty much at uh, standard you don't really have anything there the next level up though is classic and classic is from 2 to 149 points and it brings you an invitation to a captain's club welcome event access to exclusive events on specialty sailings such as the president sailing uh, one pre-cruise category upgrade to aqua class based on availability five percent discount on beverage package upgrades ten percent discount on internet package upgrades 25% discount on any digital or print photo packages and $100 off the studio photo pa packages. So the studio photo packages are the ones where you have a full-on photo shoot just for you and your family. You also get one free scoop of gelato. I love how they've just tacked that on there. It's all of those great things and then a scoop of ice cream. But it's a, a nice little freebie. <clears throat> the select tier is the next tier. And this will add even bigger discounts. Select is from 150 to 299 points. So it's a little bit harder to get hold of, uh, but you get 25% off the internet package and 30% off the photo package. You also get priority status for the shore excursion waitlist. You get 10% savings at the spa, 5% discount on the premium beverage package upgrade when purchased pre-cruise, two garments pressed for free, and if your cruise is a longer cruise, so 12 nights or longer, you get a discount on a standard bag of laundry, and you're also invited to a free wine seminar. 
Being loyal to celebrity really does start paying off though when you get past this stage and head to Elite and Elite Plus. And we'll look at those together. Elite is from 300 to 749 and Elite Plus is from 750 all the way up to a massive 2,999 points. Wow, that's a lot of points, especially if you only stay in interior cabins. So Elite Level, you get everything we've mentioned before, but you also get 30% off the internet package, 40% off all the photo packages, and $200 off the studio photo package. You also get a 10% discount at the Ship Spa, a 10% discount at the Premium Beverage Package Upgrade, complimentary dry cleaning for one item, perfect for your elegant or gala night, ready to go and uh, strut your stuff. You also get a free bag of laundry on every sailing and access to a private departure lounge on departure day, serving continental breakfast. That's very nice. When you get to Elite Plus, this kicks things up another notch by offering all of those things, but an additional free bag of laundry, additional discounts for onboard services, so you get 15% on specialty dining, free cappuccinos, lattes, espressos, and teas throughout your sailing. So it's a little bit nicer. Um, not a huge increase from Elite, but enough to keep you going. And reaching these levels can be done in just a few cruises if you are partial to the longer sailings that Celebrity offers. So if you stay in top suites and you sail uh, really, really long uh, cruises, it's like 12, 14, 15 days, you might get up there a little bit quicker. For a more typical cruiser though, somebody who sails uh, seven night cruises, which are the most common cruises that um, any cruise line does. If you stay in a standard balcony, for example, it would take you 15 sailings to get elite level and 36 sailings to get to elite plus level. So that's that's doable, um, especially if you live somewhere that's close to a celebrity home port and you can go on more cruises more easily. Retirement is a dream, right? Now the ultimate perk for Captain's Club members comes when you reach the top tier from 3,000 points on your Zenith tier. Zenith tier, you get a free seven night Caribbean or Bermuda cruise in a balcony cabin. An absolutely free of charge cruise for you and a partner or a friend. Amazing. Of course, 3,000 points is no mean feat. It's out of reach for a lot of people. Uh, for someone who always stays in a standard balcony cabin and prefers a seven night sailing, it would take an almost inconceivable 143 cruises to reach the Zenith tier. Um, so you'd have to spend about nine, 900 to 1,000 days at sea to hit this mark, and that's only with Celebrity. So yeah, be aware of that. Once you hit the Zenith level, um, you will get then another free cruise every 3,000 points you accumulate. So if you are a crazy person who's able to go on cruises all the time and you can reach 3,000 points a second time, you get another um, another free cruise. Lots of cool things. Um, in offering its top tier members free cruises, Celebrity really does give that big loyalty bonus and it would encourage a lot of people, I think, to stick with them to earn that free cruise. There's nothing better than something like that for free. Now, Zenith tier doesn't just bring the free cruise, it also brings some other amazing perks. For example, you get priority sh uh, seating in all the theatres, priority embarkation, while ships are in port, and the ability to stay on ships longer on debarkation day. So you can watch everybody go home and you can stay and relax a little bit longer. You also get free laundry, free automatic premium beverage upgrades, uh, automatic premium internet, um, especially dining of 25% discount, 20% off at the spa, 50% off all the photo packages, as well as little things like uh, they give you upgraded more high-end toiletries and amenities in your cabin. Um, and so you do really get to feel like you're being treated as a higher class citizen. Now, Captain's Club members do keep their points. So I've recently sailed on MSC and with MSC, if you don't sail with them for three years, you lose your points and you lose your status. That is not the case with Celebrity. You keep them indefinitely, uh, so you can keep going, trying other lines and then coming back and you haven't lost anything. So that's everything there is to really discuss about Celebrity. I wanna hear what you think of Celebrity. It's one that I've really wanted to try. Um, just this a past cruise I was on, I did get to see the Celebrity silhouette in port and I do think it looks like a lovely ship. The edge class look amazing and I would really love to try 
uh, what it's like to be on a celebrity cruise, a little bit higher end, a little bit more premium. It'd be interesting to see how it works. Uh, let me know in the comments below what you think of celebrity, what you think of their loyalty program, what level you're on if you've sailed with them before, and do you really think it's competitive to others in the industry? Also, please do like and subscribe if you haven't already, and there is a link below to my Ko-Fi if you would like to make a donation to keep these videos running and to keep them um, fun and engaging. And next week, we will be back again with another episode looking at Norwegian Cruise Line and their Latitudes program. Until then, stay safe.